The Salahu government's proposal to degazette most of the Kuala Langat North Forest Reserve for a mixed development project faced strong bipartisan opposition at a town hall meeting this morning. BKR Bukit Lanjan Representative Elizabeth Wong, Parsi Jangkang Representative Ahmad Yunus Hairi and DAP Banting Representative Lao Weng San were among the many who stood up to air their views at the meeting in Pulau Keri. Addressing her speech to Town Hall Chairperson and Selangor Executive Committee member Lee Loy Sian, she quoted his 2019 speech in which he assured forest reserves in Selangor would only be developed for TMB infrastructure, I Selangor Pipeworks and Highway projects. Pada November 2019, ada seorang YB yang cerdik dan juga yang berwibawa yang memberi jaminan kepada kita dengan quotation ini dia sebut dalam satu seminar free. Kita hanya membenarkan tiga projek yang boleh menggunakan hutan simpan kekal iaitu menggunakan HSK bagi pembangunan infrastruktur, talian TNB, jajaran PAI AIS Selangor, syarikat konsesi lebuh raya. Nama YB itu adalah YB Hinoi Sen. I believe in you. I will stand behind you to fight them. Tapi YB dan juga semua expo dan juga agensi-agensi kerajaan we must have the courage of conviction. We have been voted in here to be government to change. We cannot be like the governments before. Wong stressed her disappointment over the plan, especially as the reserve was one of the four remaining peat swamps in the state. She also questioned if the state owned firm, Mantri Basa Incorporated, was the real developer behind the project. Ahmad Yunus was similarly against the project and urged the state government to focus on empowering nearby Orang Asli communities instead. Four Orang Asli villages previously protested the plan, as they would no longer be able to rely on the forest reserve for their food, medicinal and cultural needs. Selangor Menteri Basa Amiruddin Shari previously explained that the government wanted to develop the forest reserve as many trees had become degraded and now posed a fire hazard. He also assured that this loss would be made up by gazetting new areas as forest reserves.